Hi everyone, this is a basic rules derivation that involves an operation letter in it. Um, I don't think there's anything odd about this question, so let's give it a go. Show. There exists an x, fx, and gx. Now, again, if we had all our rules, we could just power through and um, use assume id and quantify or negate, but instead I'm just going to sort of be a little smart here. If I want there exists an x, fx, and gx. That means what I really want is some f alpha and g alpha, which means what I really want is f alpha on its own and g alpha on its own. Now this is guidance, which tells me these have to be the same, and then I'll be able to adjoin them, and then I'll be able to eg. So this will be my adjoin move, and this is my eg move. And this is basically what I'm shooting for. Now that might help me later in terms of show lines, but it's really just helpful sort of to do. Now in the meantime, I will just write my assume ID. There's no harm in doing it, and sometimes I actually need it. That's A, I, D. Okay, on line three, I take a look at my premises. This is a double UI, so I'm gonna UI only when I have guidance to match. This is an existential right off the bat, so I know my automatic move is to EI to something brand new. That means I change all instances of, of uh, x to i. That's f y arrow g a i y. Okay, that's premise to e i. Now, I really just have, sort of have to figure what, what to do here. I know I can simplify, um, well, whatever. I might as well, it doesn't hurt. So I'll just simplify this right now and I have for all y bracket f y arrow g a i y. Now it's important to note here that, um, that's line three simplify, my g predicate is actually only one place. And there's no brackets, which is the tell that tells you that g is one place. a is an operation that is two places, i y. And so this just says g of something. That's the way we really need to look at it. This is probably one of the most important skills in doing multi-place uh, predicate derivations. Okay, so from here, I'm really just basically looking around to match. So I realize I have an fi here, I have an fy, which can change to anything as the antecedent of conditional. So if I actually change it to i and match, um, that's actually going to be really nice because uh, I can modus ponens. And so that's 5 ui. Okay, on line 7, uh, I will do the modus ponens now and I get g a i i. That is four, six modus ponens. Okay, on line eight, this is messy. On line eight now, I look around. Um, I realize that I'm looking for fi, and I also need g of the same, but this is g-a-i-i, so this is a bit awkward. What do I do? Uh, well, we just got to look. Okay, so over here I have premise one, which I haven't used at all and I see that I can actually UI to match here. If I UI this to I and this to I, then I actually also have FAII, which is gonna be the match to GAII, which I know I wanted from over here. So I'm gonna take premise one, I'll do it one at a time. First, I'll EI, sorry, UI to Y, uh, UI X to I, And that's premise one, UI. And then I will now do it again. And that's eight, UI. Okay, now I just need to build this antecedent, but I can do that very easily, FI and FI. What did I do? I actually took four and I took four again, and I just adjoined them together. Uh, we've never actually done that before, but that's totally fine. Now I modus ponens, I get F-A-I-I, -I, and that is 9, 10 modus ponens. On line 12 now, I can start going backwards. I have F alpha, G alpha, where they're the same, so now I can build F-A-I-I, -I, and I can add to that A-I-I -I for G. And that is line 7, 11, adjoin. And now I can existentially generalize. Now remember how EG works. You can existentially generalize any sort of term you want, or so I'm generalizing AII, and then I can do as many instances of it as I want as well. And then I can change it to, oops, then I can change it to uh, 
whatever variable letter I want. And in this case, I want x. So that's 12 existentially generalized direct derivation. And that's it. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, give it a go. Good luck.